So you've handed us some pretty intense ideas about self-obsession. This one feels, I don't know, kind of deep. You sure you're ready to unpack all this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so, big claim here. Self-obsession is the root of all unhappiness. Whoa! It's like deep, but also like kind of everywhere these days, right? It's a strong statement for sure, but it's not exactly new, you know? This idea has roots in a lot of different traditions, philosophy, spirituality, even ancient proverbs touch on this whole self-obsession. And hey, look at that. Even your source mentions Buddha. It's true. The source connects conquering the self with, you know, reaching enlightenment, less me, me, more peace and fulfillment. That's the idea. So not erasing your sense of self completely, but like shifting Amen. your focus outward, yeah. Exactly, your source actually uses the phrase loving something more than you love yourself. Kids, a cause, a mission, anything that gets you out of your own head. Makes me think of that study about volunteering. People who volunteer are happier, maybe it's that outward focus thing. Interesting, makes you wonder, right? Maybe helping others just naturally reduces that self-obsession thing. Speaking of which, your source calls me a disease. That's um, kind of intense wording, don't you think? Yeah, a bit much. Is our sense of self really that bad? It's meant to be provocative, but to be fair, it also says having a self is necessary, you know, for memory, preferences. We need that stuff. It's when self-awareness becomes, like, obsessive that it becomes a problem. So where's the line? Like, healthy self-awareness versus ah, uh, me disease? Mm -hmm. That's the million-dollar question. No easy answer. But your source points to rumination as a red flag getting trapped in those thought cycles, reliving mistakes, worrying, always about ourselves. Ugh, yeah. I get stuck in my own head all the time. It's so easy to do. You mentioned finding happiness by focusing on something bigger than yourself. Is that, uh, has that been true for you? Absolutely. Connecting with something beyond our own little bubble, you know, that's where we find real joy, creative stuff, nature, spirituality, even just really connecting with other people. So like, what do we do with all this? Well, if we're taking this seriously, it's about being mindful of where our energy goes. Are we feeding the me monster with all its worries and self-criticism? Or are we looking outward towards stuff that actually matters? It's a balancing act, for sure. It's a great point to end on, actually. Listeners, pay attention to your focus. Today. You know, stuff in your head. Some